I would love Heidi. that. I, yes, because yeah, look, 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 <laughs> I feel like you totally improved from the last time we saw you guys. I also love that you came back, you know, even though he buzzed you the last time. To help So them. I feel like that's very humble of you to be like, help you know what? Yeah. We're going to work harder and come back and show them. And I feel like you just did. Yes. Boom. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much. You're very cute. I, 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 um. No, Simon. You're not the best singers in the world. That wasn't the best song I've ever heard. Oh! Hey, come on, come on. He's so tough. I was getting to the good bit. I love the fact that you are old school. And actually, every time you come on, it makes me feel happy. This Thank was you. way better than the first audition we saw. Thank you so much. Thank you. How are you? No, I don't want to know what he's got to say. Here's the thing. It doesn't matter what I say because ultimately the audience is has the choice. Uh, the audience oh, votes. You are great. Team Mel B. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Back. This is Heidi's team, Simon. I know, I'm just saying I welcome. I know, he's just very excited about everyone who's on my team. I said you're doing well. I know, I am. You are. You're a little bit jealous. And I'm very excited. <laughs> this is Darcy Lynn, everyone. I was literally only 12. My name's Darcy Lynn. <laughs> when I stepped foot on the AGT stage for the first time. You make my heart melt. Mel B giving me the golden buzzer. It was honestly one of the most incredible moments of my life, but winning was just like out of the question. The winner is Darcy Lynn! It was incredible. It's kind of hard to put it into words. And now I've gotten to do so many awesome things. Darcy, Darcy Lynn, Lynn and Friends Live! I remember seeing like J-Lo's poster up in Vegas and then like mine right next to her and I was like, that's not real. Like that is super cool. Heidi Klum, who is your draft pick? No, go. no, yes. no, that's my golden buzzer. I know, this was your golden buzzer. No, I knew I should have picked her now first. Now she's with me. And I thought you were friends, you two. I am your friend and I love you, but now this is game time, babe. Darcy Lynn is on my dream team because she is an absolutely incredible ventriloquist. Why do you want to be back here? Well, I've come back to show the new side of me. I'm now 19 and so it's like Darcy 2.0. Are you going to tell me? What are you going to do? I don't want to give it away. What yeah. is it? You I just can't don't wanna... tell you. I can't. <laughs> but why can't you tell me? I'm known for my ventriloquism, but there is more to me than just a ventriloquist. Stand by, folks. 
America choosing me as one of their favorite acts to come back is a really big honor. I think it is a little pressuring though. I feel like I have to like live up to what I did when I was 12. But I just don't want to be put into a box. And so for my performance tonight, I'm doing something different. I think people are gonna be surprised. Okay, here we go. Did you have a mentoring session with her? Yeah. She didn't tell me the song. She wasn't telling me what the surprise is. So I couldn't even give my two cents in, like, so. Wow. Okay, Petunia, this isn't all about you, and plus, I'm 19 now. I know, you're aging. I'm not. <laughs> I know, but I, I, feel like, I feel like I'm old enough to do this on my own now. <laughs> oh, you're serious? Yeah, I am. I feel like I've got the music in me. No trouble in my life No foolish dream to make me cry Well, when life get me down Come on, tell you I'm gonna take it The way that I found it I got the music in me that you are absolutely fantastic. I'm glad you didn't abandon Petunia all the way because yeah. this is how we fell in love with I you. I felt bad for her. I'm so happy also that you're back here on our stage. Thank you. Mel, what did you think? Your beauty is you and Petula's, Petula's Petunia. voice, Petulia's voice and your voice. Petunia. You, you know who I mean. Petunia. Petu I can't even say Petunia. No, Petunia. Petunia. And Petunia, yeah. that's what captured America's hearts. But I almost loved the simplicity of what you were doing back then. And I just feel like the music and everything else overshadowed what you're so good at. I don't agree. I don't agree. You know what? Does it? I'm going to agree with Mel, and I'll tell you why. There are very few people in the world who can do what you do. The singing and the ventriloquism together is your, what I call USP, your unique selling point. And I think we were distracted away from what you do so brilliantly. The good news is, it's not down to us, it's down to the audience. Thank you. You took a really, really big risk in stepping away from Petunia. It's definitely different, but it's just a new part of me, and that's why I did it. 
We started saying it back in 2020. I had this idea, what if we took gospel sound and we put it to everyday music? And we were like, boom, here you go, world. I loved everything about this. This was what we were looking for. Brilliant. I knew that we were on to something special. The act leaving the competition, sainted. When they told us we were going home, that was quite a blow for us. Some members of our group came home to eviction papers or being fired from a job. We could dwell with the losses and amongst the bad times, but crying versus laughing, right. some people like to, you know, that's, you know, I like to laugh. And we want to go <laughs> to that part of life right. where we are triumphant. I was shocked when they didn't make it through to the finals. I wanted them on my team. Thank you, Simon. Mm -hmm. We love you. The first thing I said was, we've got to get you the best song in the world. And I thought, it has to be Purple Rain. Oh! I don't know if I can get it, but I'm going to try. Five, six. I mean, I instantly begin to get visions. Like, I see it. Let's do it. We have this amazing opportunity because Sainted is back. We back, and, baby. And we're ready to show America a different side of ourselves. Yes. So y'all know we have this thing with clearance, and we need to get permission for a song. We have to prepare for the possibility that Purple Rain is just not going to clear. Yes. It never clears. It never clears. Never, it never, 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 clear. never, never, never. It doesn't clear. I'm not going to let go of this. If you believe in this and you want to do it, then I'm going to somehow make this happen. Hey, hold it, hold it. We need to prepare two different songs just in case it doesn't clear. It's the night before we're supposed to perform. We still don't have a final song. It's. I know y'all don't know what to expect, because I damn near don't even know what to expect. Hold the Prince! <laughs> OK, we have an update. So Prince's estate has been gracious enough to make an exception and give you permission to perform Purple Rain. <laughs> it's the 40th anniversary of Purple Rain. It's like, OK. We have to honor Prince, the legend. Back again, back again. And this is different from what we already did yesterday? Yes. yes. But we got to do it as quickly as possible, folks. We do not have a lot of time. Simon fought for us. This is what we've been waiting for. The dream is to dream bigger. Yes. Yeah. yeah.
mic dropped. Taking off the breath. Oh my God. Wow. Howie. You know, I know for a fact that that young man at the end of the table was up till midnight clearing that song. Thank you. We asked people on this show to step it up. You just stepped it up beyond. It was amazing. I'm so glad me Mel. I really don't like you. I really don't. <laughs> That's it. They were brilliant! All right, all right, all right! Side of note, what's up? I just connected with you from that first audition. Then we spoke on the phone. And I said, how would you feel about singing my favorite song of all time, Purple Rain? And I just heard this scream. Aww. And I thought, that's a yes. <laughs> I think Prince is the greatest artist of all time. And you said it was going to be good. It wasn't. It was incredible. Yeah. <laughs> it was honestly a moment I will never, ever, ever forget. And I really pray that this moment will change your lives. And I'm going to give you something from my heart. Right now, I remember being a kid rehearsing in the mirror, pretending that we were before crowds like this. <laughs> Never stop believing, always keep dreaming. You can do it, you can make it. I discovered magic seven years ago. I saw magicians on America's Got Talent that really inspired me to get into magic myself. Yes, Oscar, yes! Killian was diagnosed with autism. He just didn't engage with the other children and we just knew ourselves that something wasn't right. It is hard. But when he discovered the magic, it was like a light switch. That is amazing. Oh my God. You are unbelievably talented. Now, Simon, I want you to think of a magic word. A dog just to see him smiling and doing what he loves. Dog! It's just priceless. The third place act, Killian O'Connor! I was very proud of myself for making it to third place. 13-year-old Killian O'Connor joins us now. I've had interviews on TV, radio, newspapers. You are genuinely, I think, one of the best magicians we've ever, ever had on our shows. When Simon chose me to be on his dream team, I just couldn't believe it. What I love about magic is that when I understand what the main story is, yes. I think it makes it more special. It really does. Yeah. So my one piece of advice is tell a story and use great music. There's a lot of magic here tonight. It oh, is. Yeah. Yes. Us, um, Anna de Guzman. Yeah. 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 Like a lot of good magic, yes. right? OK, here we go, guys, clearing stage. There is a lot of great competition here, but I really do think I have a chance of winning. I'm going to put up a good fight. With words, we can paint the world with kindness and create magic in everyday moments. Simon. The last time we met, I asked you to think of a magic word, which you wrote down on this hanky. 
your magic word, dog. I'll leave it here. Now, I know you hate card tricks, but yeah. don't worry. It's not one of those. I've written some random words on the back of these cards. Take this half and mix them up whilst I mix these. Howie, please, say stop whenever you want. Stop. Read whatever is written on the back, but don't let me see. Okay. Simon, in a world that's often upside down, there's a chance for fun and happy moments to pop up when we least expect them. Let's bring our two halves together as one so we can find joy in this chaos. What if we could create a special moment of magic by making these mixed up words rearrange themselves to tell my story? Impossible, right? It's done. Forget what we're told Before we get too old Show me a garden that's bursting into life Simon I'm here because of you Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Howard, I asked you to choose a card which was the... Nine of Spades. The Nine of Spades. Let's try this. You know, Howie, only those who believe in magic can truly find it. Watch very, very, very closely. What was the word written on the back of the card that you chose? Believe. Simon, show everyone what's written on the hanky. Believe. Changed. My teacher, Mrs. Kirwin, always says, if you truly believe, then anything is possible. I used to be on the outside looking in, but now I'm on the inside looking out. You know, this show, AGT and all the GTs around the world, are all about diversity. Anybody from any walk of life should be able to compete and have their dreams come true, including neurodiversity. And yeah. you are truly amazing, not only as a magician, but as a human being. Thank you very much. Heidi. It was really, really great. It is a real show. And not just like a little act, like we could watch a whole show with you. Well done, young man. Look, I've seen a lot of magic on these shows over the years, and I think you really, really have something special about you. You're 14 years yeah. old, and you've come all the way, thousands of miles, to come up with something so incredible, 
just blew my mind. I really love you. Congratulations. Thank you. Hi, Musa. Hey. Hi. Welcome. Oh, I'm disappointed that you can't physically be here because the paperwork to fly wasn't done on time. And I am so happy that you're on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. I met Musa on Britain's Got Talent. Could you tell the audience here, please, you know, what you told us on that day? My name is Musa Mota. When I was growing up, my dream was actually to become a professional football player. But at the age of like 10, 11, um, I got ill and I got diagnosed with cancer. Growing up in South Africa was really an amazing experience. I had a very happy childhood, but when I got diagnosed with cancer, it was really hard. My dream of being a professional footballer was crushed. But dancing really made me feel brand new, made me feel happy, excited. When the music starts and then I'm on stage performing, nothing matter, you know, it's just me and the music and the stage performing for people. After my performance, it was crazy. It was like an excitement on another level. The audience basically wouldn't leave the theater unless we gave him a golden buzzer because we'd run out of golden buzzer. I'm not kidding. We've got no golden buzzer. We've got no left. They pressed the golden buzzer, all of them at the same time. to the finals and then they announced the game saying no he didn't make it through. I felt a little disappointed but since Britain's Got Talent my life changed. Seeing myself on the news every day in South Africa I felt honoured. Oh he is here right now really a glorious moment for the county. And then when I found out that I was Simon's first pick I was just like asking myself is this real? Him believing in me that I know I need to do my best. I wouldn't want to let him down. Can I offer you one piece of advice? The only thing I was slightly disappointed when you were on BGT was I saw you with other people on stage. And I don't think you should have other people on stage with you. I think you are the star. Tonight's performance is a second chance, but having to perform remotely makes me feel worried because I feed from the audience. I think for you and the show, it's what I call unfinished business. You should have won the show, and you got every chance this year, I promise you. I want to win people's hearts and show that nothing is impossible. Look at all the hate they keep on showing I don't wanna see that Look at all the stones they keep on throwing I don't wanna feel that Like sun that will keep on burning And I used to be so discerning oh.
incredible. Musa, let me just tell you what's happening right now. There's about 1,500 people on their feet, yes! some people in tears, everyone's cheering. Even though it was remote, it was close. Honestly, I have so much respect for you as a person, as an artist. You are exceptional. Thank you. To think that somebody who loses a leg and loses the opportunity to play football would make their next choice dancing is so unbelievable and you have reached such heights and there are people with twice as many legs as you that don't come close yeah. to what I just witnessed right here. Yeah. Thank you, thanks so much. Can I just say, I went to dance college, I trained as a dancer and I didn't have half as much control or technique that you have. <laughs> Hopefully you have opened up the door so more of this, we see more yeah. of this, we need yeah. to see more yeah. of this. Yeah. And you do it so elegantly. And you're really cute. You're gorgeous. <laughs> Flawless and gorgeous. Yes? I'm so proud of you. Congrats. Tonight, I'm a huge fan, and I've been following you guys for a long time on social media. Thank you. You always put a smile on my face and everybody's face, and I think at this time in our lives, nothing is more important than putting a smile on anybody's face. Yes. Thank you so much. Heidi? I think all of you are absolutely adorable. I love the comedy within the dancing. I love when you break it all down and it's like slow motion, everything. It was beautiful. Thank, Thank you for that. I'm just gonna say what I think everybody in the audience is thinking, which is you are just brilliant. Seriously brilliant. So talented. You work hard for this. Winning is important to you. Thank you for coming all this way. It means a lot. I love you guys. Team Mel B. Hello, judges. Hello. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> this is Aiden Bryant. Yes. He was your first pick, wasn't he? Yes, he was my first pick. He has won before. And first of all, I love that you're back because you want more. Yes, absolutely. I'm a competitor, you know, and I want to prove some stuff tonight. When I won ATT All-Stars, it truly was the best moment of my life. Aiden Bryant! In that moment, it felt like I was standing on top of the world. You've just won All-Stars! I am completely self-taught from a small kid practicing in my grandmother's backyard. 
and to now on the biggest stage across the world. This is exactly what we're looking for on this show. I didn't think it was going to go this far, but now I'm starring in the biggest show in Las Vegas. So when I found out, America chose me as one of their favorite acts. I knew I had to come back and defend my title. Oh, yes, okay. Oh, All right. Heidi has chosen Aiden Bryant. That's no fair. Aiden Bryant is a first round draft pick. <laughs> Hello, Heidi. Hi. <laughs> when I found out I was on Heidi's dream team, I was so excited. I would take any advice from her. I mm -hmm. keep thinking of the story that you told us, that you learned how to do this in your backyard mm -hmm. at this tree. Oh my goodness. If we could resemble this somehow on the stage again and kind of bring this sure. story back so that there is more of a story to it. Perfect, okay. All right, here we go again. Hello. Yes. All of my performances in the past has prepared me for this moment. Now, I'm ready to go down in AGT history by winning the show not once, but twice. It's the golden buzzer today, and that's why I'm very nervous. Oh, making me nervous. Uh oh, <laughs> somebody could get taken. Oh, so you wouldn't want to be on uh, Simon's team, right? I would want to stick with Heidi, you know? Did she you hear from that? <laughs> Absolutely. I want to kiss you right now. Yes. <laughs> that's very Thanks good. Thanks a lot. <laughs> God, I'm just being dumped every week. Again? <laughs> oh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Simon. Simon, he does not want to be with you. You he heard doesn't. it. He doesn't. Even if you push that buzzer, he doesn't want it. See, if I was you, Simon, I would press it right now, quickly run up and mentor him. <laughs> Don't give him an idea. and they do a few tricks and you think, oh yeah, great, where you are just endless and smooth <laughs> and it's seamless and it's so graceful. It is perfection! <laughs> <laughs>
you know, it's a real testament. This is a, a show where only one act can walk out with $250,000 and your performance, I think moved you one step closer to $250,000. Oh. <laughs> Aiden, honestly, you are a natural born performer. It reminded me watching the Olympics sometimes and someone gets a 10, a 10, a 10, a 10. And that was a 10. Actually, it was an 11. I think you're about to give me a go to work. I hope not. Thank you, Simon. Thank you for having me back. If you only wanted to be on my team. He does not want to be with you, Simon. OK. Anyway, my respect for you for coming back and literally putting your title on the line, that says everything about you and good for you. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Simon. Hi. Hello. Hi. Well. <sighs> Breathe. She seems a little nervous. <sighs> okay. Ready. Sorry. I'm back, and I've actually been learning how to use my magic to try and get free things. Okay. You know, since I didn't win the million dollars. <laughs> Mel, you know all about how to get drinks for free, huh? Whoa. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. You need a drink as well. Yeah. I got you. Think of your favorite. Whoa. Cheers. Is this... Is it? This is my favorite tequila. Oh, oh my God. Uh, <laughs> I have an espresso, because I, I keep the energy. Terry? Yes? Can I see your credit card, please? My card? I feel like I'm at home. <laughs> Ooh, okay, thank okay. you. Terry's credit card, we're going to put it in the wallet, and I want you to put your hand on top to keep it safe. Yes. OK. Now, Mel, I'm going to show you what got me here. Go on. Go ahead and say stop. Stop. Lock the card in your brain, and I'm going to show everybody at home. Got it? Cool. Take the cards. I don't want to touch them. Yeah. <sighs> this card represents you very well, actually. Yeah, you're, it you're, does. It does? You're a Gemini? Yeah. OK, so you're born in May. Yeah. The fifth month, so it's a five? Yeah. And you like diamonds? Because yeah. who doesn't? So it's the five of diamonds? Yes! Oh, that's good. Go ahead and take the card uh, out of the middle. Take the five of diamonds. Diamond where, di where is it? Take a look. It's not even, it's not here. You spread them out on the table, are you sure? It's not there. It's gone? It's not there. Well, the only cards I care about are playing cards, and I always carry one with me at all times in my wallet. No, it's Terry. not. I have my hand here. No. Raise your hand up off the wallet. Right. No way. Shut oh. up. If Mel B's Five of Diamonds is in the wallet, then Terry, your card is missing. Yeah, where? Uh, where is your card? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need Hi, that. thank I'm you gonna... so much. I <laughs> like you. <laughs> what is the first thing they tell you to do when you lose your credit card? Uh, call them. Yes, you call the bank and you tell them to freeze the card, right? So I've already gone ahead and frozen your card for you. No, okay. literally. Literally, your card is frozen in ice in front of you all this entire Stop time. It! No! 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 It's there! Oh. It's there! What? Are you joking? Wait, there's, there's only one way to find out, and I brought my special magic wand with me. <laughs> Terry, can you really confirm that that is your credit card? I'm going to confirm this right now. Yes! That is my credit card. Got my name on it. America, cheers, drinks are on Terry. Thank you all so much for having me back. Thank 
Thank you, Anna. That was incredible, incredible. Mel, you were right there. What do you think? Oh, my God. You are brilliant. And the tequila's got me a little bit, but you are great. I did that on purpose, because the more you drink, the better the magic will get. Simon, what did you think? Well, look, uh, she's that good that she nearly won the entire series. Yes. And yes. you did it in your own unique, cool way. We have some incredible magic tonight, but I really genuinely hope that the audience get behind you and put you through to the next round because you deserve it. Thank you. May God bless and keep you always. May your wishes all come true. May you is extraordinary and when you let loose and it just goes Wah! it's amazing Simon but Brian you know what I think you are a great singer would I have chosen that song no no did you have any input not on the song choice so but we did you can you just it? shut up a second we did talk about how to bring it by see i'm going to throw this water on you it was telling me to do that yeah. no fighting we family. did talk about how we wanted to bring it back to just you and your voice and i think you did that the audience just has to vote for you they have to thank you thank you all i love you thank you Welcome to our Las Vegas party suite. If I look around, it looks like we had a crazy night last night. Yeah, because we celebrated a very special day, May 31st, 2016. The date of our very first audition on America's Got Talent. And thinking about it, it just feels like it was yesterday. Speaking of yesterday, I have no memory of what happened at last night's party. Do you judges? No. Okay. Amelie will try to reach into your minds to find out what we did last night. I have to put on this blindfold because that helps me get focused. Simon, there are a bunch of different uh, VIP uh, cards and lanyards from Vegas attractions. We want to keep things random, so just take one of the strings, anyone you like. Okay. Yes, okay. take it. Don't say what it is, just look what you've selected. Oh, God. Cover it with your hands. <laughs> Concentrate on it and send your thoughts to Amelie. Yes, I remember now, Simon. You insisted on going to this very special show and that one was called Vegas Dark Divas. 
Vegas Dog Divas. It is Vegas Dog Divas. Wow. Great show. And now, B, I kind of have the feeling we had something to eat last night. At least that would explain all these menus on the table, like here burgers, a Thai steakhouse. Yeah. Uh, just make it random. Just point to any menu, any, whatever you like. Take it out. Yeah. Select one of the food options on there. Howie, come a little bit closer. Okay. Show Howie and myself just with your finger what you have selected. This? Okay. Don't say it. Amelie? Okay, Melby, I think you went kind of for a breakfast. I guess something like fruits. You went for the raspberry yogurt parfait. Yes, raspberry yogurt parfait. It is. I saw that. Yeah. Howie, what? you see all these room keys on the table. Okay. Uh, confirm, all room numbers are different, right? Uh, it seems that like way, two yes. Two on, two nine. Let's okay. take some, put them inside here. I will look away, reach inside, and just take one room key, not okay. two. You I've have got, one. I've got one. Hold it against your butt. Howie, what? a pretty clear picture comes into my mind. Because yesterday night we were walking around the casino and you were wearing a bathrobe. I was? Oh, there's Howie's bathrobe. And Heidi, can you do me a favor? Can you read out loud what it says inside? Do not remove from room 120. Howie, for the first time, what room have you picked? No. 120. It is room 120! Here, you get your rope back. Thank you so much. Thank you. But wait a second. All the random selections you made are associated to numbers. Mel B, um, let us know what is the name of the restaurant you picked. Cafe 53. Howie's room is 120. And Simon, can I have a look? You may. You are sitting in row one, seat six. Because, Heidi, I remember you did heavy gambling last night and you won. Can you remember? No. You no. can't, but oh. Heidi, I do have the proof. Because you won $53,120 in 16 cents. Like Mel B's Cafe, Howie's Room and Simon's Row and Seat. Oh, so glad the numbers. I'm so sorry, Heidi. We already spent all that money what? on this. Everybody, stand up, try and catch a bill. Because on the bill, you will see the faces of the judges. Mel B is holding her menu from Cafe 53. Howie has his room number 120. Oh and Simon holding his show ticket. Six. How's that possible? That's insane. There is a reason this all happened. It all started on one day, May 31st, 2016. You remember the day of our audition? Yes. Everyone, have a close look or on this check. May 31st, 2016. Thank you so much. Musa Mota. And Travis Japan. Um, oh, are you kidding me? The act going into the semifinal is Musa Mota. Oh my God, you guys! Thank you, Travis Japan. One more time for Musa Mota. Congrats, Simon. Congrats, Simon. One down, four to go. The clairvoyance. And ghetto kids. Oh my God, oh. what a line. The next act going into the semifinal is no way. How do you know? I know. Ghetto Kids! Whoa. Yes! Big thanks to the clairvoyance! Bravo! One more time for Ghetto Kids! Well done, guys! 
three spots left now. Killian O'Connor and Anna de Guzman. Oh my God! Are you joking? The third act going into the semifinals is. Tough one. Anna de Guzman! Yes, good. Thank you and good luck to you, Killian. One more time for Anna de Guzman. Anna! Three acts left and just two spots left. Oh, you're joking. Brian Justin Crumb. Oh! Aiden Bryant. And Darcy Lynn. Please step forward. It's Team Mel B versus Team Heidi with two acts. Oh, God. The next act going into the semifinals is. This is really frustrating. Semis. One more time for Aiden Bryant. Two acts left. One spot left. It's Team Mel B. Come on. Versus Team Heidi again. The act taking the last spot in the semifinals is. Give it up for all of tonight's semifinalists, Musa Mota, Ghetto Kids, Aiden Bryant, Darcy Lynn, Anna de Guzman, and tonight's golden buzzer, Sainted. Bravo, everyone! The first semifinal is next week. I am Terry Crews. Good night, America.